Now, the way that we arrive at a diagnosis in terms of uh, having or not a learning disability is by using the response to intervention model. So you may have seen this pyramid several times already in different workshops, but if we're bringing it back here because it's a very important model. And this model is, is quite sound, and um, what it posits is that with high quality classroom-wide pedagogy, most children should do very well academically. So we would expect you know, at least 80% of students will be successful in a regular classroom if the pedagogy that they're receiving is um, high quality pedagogy. And about 20% of students will struggle. If we take the, that 20% of students and we try to identify exactly where they are struggling and with what, and we provide some review activities for them to maybe um, have them catch up, maybe they have missed some key information and that's why they had gaps in their knowledge, or maybe they require more practice in certain skills. If we do that, so within the classroom, but maybe in a smaller group format, targeting very specific things with this 20% of students, most students will catch up with that. So we will see that they will respond well to the intervention. And we're going to have about 5 to 10% of the students who either don't respond at all to the intervention or who are responding but very, very minimally. And those are the students that we want perhaps to refer on for more in-depth testing, and those are the students who may um, end up being identified as having a learning disability. So it's the students whose response to intervention is not this giant leap and complete catch-up. Those are the kids um, who are, are meet the definition of having a learning disability. 